Hello everyone, welcome back to English class. I'm so glad that you are joining me today. I am Stephanie Pontu. This is the Vision Church Level 2 class. Today's lesson is for Monday, June 15th. Can you believe it? We are halfway through June already. Um, this is part three of the Monday, June 15th class. Uh, we have a lot to cover. This is a review unit because we are about to finish up this semester. So there's a lot that we're going to try to cover in the next few lessons here. But to this lesson for um, the review unit, there's a quite a few things we're going to cover. Not all of it in this session, but these are the things we're trying to cover. Uh, we're going to review vocabulary from units 9 and 10. We're going to review which questions and simple present. We're going to review requests with can, could, will, and would. We're going to review would you like, and that's to make a polite um, offer, right? We're going to review questions and answers with direct and indirect objects. And we're going to pronounce the S ending in the simple present. So like I said, we're not going to do all of that in this particular video, but that, those are the things that are, we're going to be reviewing this week. Okay. All right. So, but before you open your book, I want to do um, a review of vocabulary words from unit nine and 10. All right, so there are quite a few, and I have so much written on the board that I wanted you to see that I wrote these vocabulary words on a piece of paper so that I don't have to spend class time erasing and rewriting. Okay, so these are our, some of the unit nine and 10 vocabulary words I wanted to review quickly with you. A complaint. Now you remember Stella and her apartment and all those problems? They wrote a letter of complaint. So a complaint is when you're telling someone about a problem or something that you're not happy with, right? Okay. Oh, I can't read this backwards. Request. A request is when you're asking for something. Like, can I have a cup of ice? Can I have a cup of water? Can you give me a ride home? Those are requests. OK, and the response is what you say back to someone after they say something to you. Right. Like if you ask me, can I have a cup of water? And I said, yes, you can. That's my response to you. OK, polite. We did a lot of practicing on making polite responses and requests. Right. So polite just means nice in a very kind way. <clears throat> Refuse is the same as saying no. All right. Clogged and unclogged. So clogged means the water can't flow freely through something. And when you unclog it, it means you, you move or you remove the clog. Right. And when you have a clogged sink, you usually have to call a plumber. Right. Unless you have some plumbing skills. Recommend. That's when you make a suggestion. Like if you ask me, Stephanie, I want to go eat some Korean food today. Can you recommend a good restaurant? So when you recommend, you make a good suggestion, right? Okay. And so remember, special occasions are things that we celebrate. Like um, in, uh, I think, Unit 10, we were talking about, it was a graduation party. And there's all types of special occasions, right? Things that you celebrate. And a celebration is actually the party or the event that you um, I'm have at a loss for words, but the celebration is like the party for the special occasion. Um, and then guest, those are the people that you invite. And then present or gift. It means the same thing. That's what someone gives you to encourage you. So a present or a gift is something that someone gives you. All right. 
And in unit 10, I think it was, uh, what was her name? I forgot the ladies, Celia. Celia graduated and she got some presents at her graduation party, remember? She got perfume and flowers and a card. Okay, so those are a few of the vocabulary words that I wanted to review. All right, so now, so that was review vocabulary from units nine and 10. Now we're gonna review which questions and the simple present. So go ahead and open your student book to page 134. All right. So I'm gonna erase everything that we're going to review. All right, so I'm gonna write some pairs of things that we could choose from on the board. Vanilla, can you see that? Yeah. Vanilla. Ice cream. You know what, I'm going to run out of room. I'm gonna to have to move this over really quick. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream. All right, so now, so we, I'm writing things that you can choose from. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, baseball, soccer, right? Those are sports you can choose from. Oh. All right, um, let's see. Email message. Thank you note. And the last thing we're going to choose between is a bottle of water and a bottle of soda. Okay. I hope you can read that. My markers have been drying out very quickly. So, okay, so what now what we're gonna do is we're going to ask. The next thing we're going to do is practice which questions and the simple present, okay? So, which ice cream would you like? Vanilla or chocolate? Okay, that's a which question in the simple present. And I would answer that. I prefer chocolate because it's creamy and tasty, okay? I love chocolate. Okay, so which ice cream would you prefer? Vanilla or chocolate? And my response is, I would like chocolate because it's creamy. All right, so that's me. This is, I made a polite response to your question and I gave you my preference and I told you why, right? I said, because. All right, baseball or soccer? Which, which sport? does your son play? Or which sport does your daughter play? And I would say my daughter plays baseball or my sons play baseball. So these are which questions in the simple present. Okay, which, I need to send a thank you note. I need to send a thank you note for my daughter's graduation. Which type of thank you note do you recommend? Which type of thank you note do you recommend? An email message or a thank you note? Now, my response to that is 
I recommend a handwritten thank you note because I think it's more personal and it shows that you put um, a little bit of extra time and effort into the note. Now, that's just me. That's my personal preference. I prefer to send handwritten thank you notes than an email or even a phone call because it takes a little bit of more time and effort to write a thank you note. All right. So, and the last question, which is which, is which, um, which do you prefer? A bottle of water or a bottle of soda? And I like a bottle of water. I would like a bottle of water because water is better for you. Soda has so much sugar and it's terrible for you. So I would prefer a bottle of water. Okay, so those are which questions. Which do you prefer? You use which questions to give people a choice between more than one thing. Okay. All right, so that's the which question practice. All right, so let's keep moving. I'm gonna erase this. All right, let's see what's next. All right, so now you can open your book. That was the practice that I wanted to do before we started this new lesson here. All right, so now we're gonna do some listening practice. And we're going to listen to an audio here on page 134, and you're going to circle the correct answer for me, okay? All right, so let me start the audio for you. All right, I'm going to start the audio for you. Review, units 9 and 10. Page 134, exercise 1, track 35. Did you move to your new apartment yet, Ramona? Yes, I moved last week, and I want to have a party to celebrate. I hope you'll come, Fabio. Sure. When is it? I don't know. Maybe next month. Next month? Why are you waiting so long? Well, my apartment is really nice, but it isn't ready yet. I want to paint the rooms. Do you know any good painters? Yes, I know two good painters. Which one do you recommend? Well, the first painter is Walter Hewitt. He's good, but very expensive. The second painter is free. I recommend the second one. The second painter is free? Yes, because I'm the second painter. I'm very good. And you don't have to pay me. What do you think? That's great. You're a good friend, Fabio. Okay. All right. So let's answer the questions. Number one, they did for us. Why is Ramona going to have a party? The answer is B, to celebrate her new apartment. Number two, when is Ramona's party? The answer is A, next month. And so, what? well, if we were having this conversation today, today is June 15th. So next month, her party would be in July, right? Okay, number three, what does Ramona want to do? The answer is A, she wants to get her apartment ready for the party, which is what I had to do. I had to get my home ready for my daughter's graduation party that we had this past Sunday. Remember, I told you guys, we kind of broke the, the social distancing rule and we had a few friends over to celebrate her party graduation, but we had everyone spaced out and we had, um, everyone had a mask on. So, <laughs> all right. Number four, how many good painters does Fabio know? Answer is B, two. 
Uh, number five, what is the name of the first painter? The first painter is Walter. So the answer is B. And the second painter is who? Yeah, it's Fabio himself. Okay, number six. Which painter does Fabio recommend? He recommends the second one. So the answer is B. Because he's the second one and he is offering, um, he's making a very polite offer to his friend Ramona to paint her apartment for her for free. Isn't that nice of him? That's very nice. All right, so talk with a partner, ask and answer the questions and use complete sentences. Okay, so we just did that. Um, what we were going to do is you were gonna get in groups in class and just kind of talk through these questions just to get practice. But um, so we can't do that. So let's move on to exercise two, grammar. So what we're gonna do here, it says, right, complete the conversation. All right, so you're gonna correct, you're gonna select the correct uh, word to complete that sentence. So under the blank, you have the two words to choose from, the correct word form. Okay, so we got Rita and Saba having a com conversation here, right? All right, so I'll be, I'll change my voice for the two characters, okay? So here's Rita. Saba, could you help me with something? My teacher is going to retire to tomorrow and I want to buy a gift for her. What should I get? Would she like some flowers? Yes, she would. She loves flowers. Where can I buy them? There's a small shop, flower shop downtown and a bigger one near the school. Which one do you recommend? I like the one near the school. It's cheaper. Okay. All right. So those are some which questions that we practiced in that exercise. We made some polite requests and we gave some polite responses. All those are things that we've, ta we've talked about in unit nine and 10. Okay, so now let's move on to exercise B. Uh, one second, please. Okay, my allergies are really bothering me. Okay, so right. Look at the answers and write the questions. Okay, now we practice this a lot in our lessons where we are able to, um, we know what the question is because the answer was complete. So if you give a complete answer, you can, dis you can figure out what the question was. So that's why I, I usually ask you guys to answer the question as a complete statement. Like if the question was, what's your favorite color? And I just said blue. That's not, a, that's not answering the question as a complete sentence. A complete sentence would be, my favorite color is blue. So you can figure out what the question was, right? Okay, so number one, they did it for us, how nice. What does Rita want to buy for her teacher? Rita wants to buy her teacher a gift. Number two, what would her teacher like? That's the question. And the answer is B, her teacher would like some flowers. Okay, so that's a complete sentence. Her teacher would like some flowers. And that's how we know that the question had to be, what would her teacher like? All right, and then number three, which flower shop does Saba recommend? There's that word, recommend. The answer, Saba recommends the flower shop near the school. And why, 
does Saba recommend the flower shop near the school? If you look at the last statement in the conversation between Rita and Saba, it says, I like the one near the school. It's cheaper. So that's the reason, because it's cheaper. And so you could have answered that question is, Saba recommends the flower shop near the school because it's cheaper. So it's always good to tell the reason why for something. And because is that word that you use before you give the reason for something, okay? All right, so then it says, talk with a partner, ask and answer the questions. All right, so I was your partner, of course, as always with these video classes. All right, so let me make sure I covered everything. All right, so let me just make a suggestion. If you had any questions about exercise 2A, review these pages and that'll help you. So if you, had, if you missed anything in exercise 2A when we did it, if you had any wrong, these pages would be a good review for you. Okay, so for number one, if you missed number one, review pages 112 to 113. If you miss number two, review page 126. If you missed number three or four, review pages 124 through 125. And if you miss number five or six, you can look over pages 114 to 115 and that will help you. Okay, so it's always good to practice and review. That is the end of our class. And I thank you for coming to class. Please leave a comment in um, YouTube and I will see you in the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.